welcome to the final video in our project series. This video is going to be covering what we're going to call the angled and transition portion of this deck. And we broke this portion up into three separate cable runs. Now the first cable run is this short little cable run that you can see right here. We ended up going with our lag receiver suede stop as our end stop fitting at our big six by six post. And over here at our four by four corner post, we used a through post suede stud assembly as our tensioning fitting. All right, so something unique I kind of wanted to talk about was this corner post in particular. So as you can see, it's serving as the corner post for two cable runs. We have our little bitty short cable run, which we have our tensioner installed on the backside, which is our suede set assembly. And then for our longer cable run, uh, we have an end stop fitting that's installed on the backside of the post, and that is our low profile end stop. Now, initially we were gonna make this all one big cable run, but since the cable is gonna be entering this post at such a sharp angle, that's why we ended up breaking it into two separate cable runs. And keep that in mind on your own decks at home. If you ever have a scenario where you think that cable might be bending in or out of your post at more than a 45 degree angle, you should really consider just breaking it up into two separate cable runs and not have to worry about any troublesome issues you might have in the future. So for the next section of this deck, we used a low profile end stop on the back side of our corner post here. And then at the opposite end, we used a through post suede stud assembly for our tensioning fitting. So for the final cable run for this section is gonna be this little short section here. We started off this cable run with a lag receiver suede stop, which is gonna be at this post that is up against the house. We couldn't access the back side of that post, which is why we use that lag receiver suede stop. And then our tensioning fitting over here at our corner post is just gonna be a through post suede stud assembly since we could access the back side of that post. So that's gonna be a wrap for this Haas Stainless Project video series. We had an absolutely awesome time working on this project and Shane and Christy loved the way that everything came out. If you have any more questions about this project in particular, you can check us out at www.e-rigging.com. Is that good? No. <laughs> Something about it blowing up, like hope it doesn't blow up again. So that's going to be a wrap for this Haas Stainless Cable Railing video series. We had an absolute blast on this project and hopefully there's no more blasting that's going to be done and everything's going to stay intact this time. How's that? Is that better?